what it's like to be a knight in the 21st century. Well, most of the time, I really don't feel like it's a job. It's a really a great experience. I used to fight out on the lawn with my brother. I'm sure a lot of little boys did that. I've always had an interest in medieval literature, history, fantasy. I've always felt a connection to that time period. I actually uh, was just walking through Discover Mills. They were beginning a show and I heard the trumpets and it drew me in. I put in my application and here I am. Brandon, I want you and Alan to go over the mace fight. My name is Matt Hiltman and I am the head knight at Medieval Times. Nice and easy, nice and slow prep. Strike. I'm responsible for the quality of the show. I have to make sure that all of the knights are trained properly, that they're doing all the choreography properly. We practice five days a week. There you go, that's it. That's it. It's interesting in the way that it's authentic. You first start out as a squire. Everyone starts as a squire and works their way up. There's no one that gets hired as a knight. They start out cleaning up after the horses, mucking stalls, brushing the horses down. Maintain all the armors, make sure they're all polished and show worthy. Assisting their knight in tournament. Lots of running around, that's for sure. Usually takes somewhere between five and 600 hours of training. Six to eight months to become a knight. That's another thing I'm noticing. You're uh, swiping through on your head blocks and your leg blocks. Um, this is what I'm seeing you do. The technical stuff starts out early. Instead of that, you see that? How the flat, hit was flat, and I brought it back here. What I'm seeing is this. You know, where to strike, where to block. Good, that was a better jab. Good, better strike. Good. A lot of it's going over the choreography just to keep it fresh. All of the fights we do are choreographed. But it takes a while to learn them. We have our own style of stage combat that we teach. You're gonna bring it off to the side, just like that. When you dodge back, see it comes in a straight line over me. It comes down to here, and I make a small loop right here. Do you see that? It's a very open style that we use so that people in the audience can see what we're doing. It keeps the blade moving and keeps you open. Keeps your body moving, keeps you open, good. You really don't understand that you have to be very open for the crowd to see what's going on. You don't really realize that until they teach it to you. Good, good. At first it's very unnerving because you have this man coming at you with this weapon and he's trying to hit you. I mean, he has his place where he has to hit and you have to block. Once you get used to it, and once you learn the skills necessary to, to block and to strike, it's really not as bad as you, you would think it would be. We look for someone with athletic capability. That's really the only prerequisite for the job. Stay that blade. I want him alive. The king's own champion protector to the throne. Look at you now. 
We don't have any requirements for acting skills, for instance, and actually we prefer having people with no horsemanship experience. Hold the horse a little bit with your right leg. And we've noticed that people who come to us with horse riding experience, whether it be Western or English, tend to have habits that need to be removed for the kind of riding that we do. Pick the canter to the right. The horse riding is by far the most difficult to learn. There aren't very many sports or professions where you need to learn how to ride a horse with only one hand. There are very few places on earth that ride the way we do. Have you ever been bungee jumping? Uh, right as you're going off the edge, that's how you feel right before the joust happens. The jousting takes several weeks to learn. Your elbows will be up. Ideally, what it should look like from behind is it should look like a T. We practice the joust in stages. How we fall off the horse is a specialized maneuver. Once the new knight has proven that he can safely and effectively do the fall maneuver, we give him a shield and lance and helmet. Start with a slow trot now, uh, and after the hit, go to a, an easy canter, all right? And he's able to practice slowly. It's one of the most difficult things. It's very difficult to juggle all the different things that you need to do on a joust. You have to control your horse. You have to present your shield properly. You have to lower your lance and aim it while seeing through a very narrow visor. It's one of the more difficult aspects of the job. It requires a lot of skill and multitasking to be able to do correctly. Your adrenaline starts pumping. You just know it's you versus the other man. It's really a great experience. Well struck Yellow Knights. Usually the time I actually realize that I'm a knight is when I first get off the joust and I get my weapons and I kind of look around and I'm like, wow, I kind of feel like a gladiator, you know, that's the, that's the coolest part. And you kind of pump yourself up and well, here I go, I know I'm about to go into battle. You feel like you're an Olympian god on a chariot riding around. It's fantastic. There's always something new. You go from cleaning up after the horses to riding them every day. I want to go up as far as I can, maybe even be a head knight one day. And you know, a lot of people say that they felt like they've been born in the wrong time period. I'm glad I was born in this time period, but I do feel a strong connection. Medieval Times is a great opportunity for me to be able to experience that connection. There's nothing quite like it.